Hey, this is Jim Lee, and you're about to enter into my world of Batman Hush. Hi, I'm Susan Eisenberg, the voice of Wonder Woman, and I'm on today's episode of DC Daily, so stay tuned. Hey there, everyone. Welcome to DC Daily. I'm Amy Dallin, and on today's show, we're joined by a very special guest. You know her as the voice of Wonder Woman. It's the wondrous... Susan Eisenberg. Yeah. 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 She's right there. Yeah. I have to start by asking, where did this one come from? <clears throat> that would be my action figure that I brought from home. Oh. And which of us is Hector collection. taking it home today? Me, Amy. It's yeah. my action figure. I only have one Wonder Woman. <laughs> Good try. Good I had try. to try. I had yeah. to try. I know. Oh, we'll well get done. You one. We'll get you one. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming to DC Daily. Yes. Sure. Thank you for having me. Let me just start by asking, DC Universe has your entire animated history as Wonder Woman on it. From wow. the Justice League animated series to the DC Nation Wonder Woman shorts mm. to the recently released Justice League versus the Fatal Five, what is it like having all those adventures in one place? I mean, it's heady. It, may, it makes me giddy because normally you'd have to say, oh, well, I did this and get, you can get it on DVD or Blu-ray. And this is all in one space, all of it together. And the shorts, I never get, I haven't seen them in forever. Yeah. So that's... That's such a joy that I'll be able to see those. And Even you get to rediscover, like, some yeah. Of <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. And it, it's just like it's like going to the library, and you get to see, but at your own home, and it's all just right there, laid out for you. I love it. It's your whole resume right there. That's yeah. Cool. Yes. Who yeah. was an actor? Yeah, body of like, work. All my stuff here. Well, all right my there. Wonder Woman. All your stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Now, if it had all my stuff, now that yeah. would really be impressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can be like, Eisenberg <laughs> Universe, Simon right. House, streaming <laughs> service. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're all in it, DC. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We have a lot more to talk about, but first, here's some news from DC. So I have to ask. What does being Wonder Woman mean to you? Okay, how much time do we have? <laughs> all, the time, all the time. You know, I always say, because I got the job in, I think, 2000, and um, it has been the greatest privilege of my professional career. It changed my life, getting the part. Um, and, you know, I just pinch myself to this moment that I have the good fortune to give voice to this extraordinary woman. I mean, it's just, it's the gift that keeps on giving and the fact that um, I just get to do different iterations of her in different, in different projects. Um, it, it really is like it makes me very, very, very grateful. I just love her at this point so much. You know, I really do. She's with me all the time. What would she do in this situation? I really tend to like be calmer because of her, because I always think of her presence and I just, okay, how would she tackle this? Just breathe and be like her. You know, be like Wonder Woman and be like Diana. So that's my hashtag. And, um, <laughs> and so, yeah, you know, there's not a day where I just don't feel gratitude that I get oh. to do it. I mean, is it just me or when she speaks about Wonder Woman? Do you hear more of Wonder Woman in her voice? <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm listening to Wonder Woman right here. Well, it's, yeah. just, it's just like the uh, amazing talents like Kevin Conroy, Mark Hamill. When we read comic books, or at least, you know, people of my generation, certainly, when I read stories that have those characters that they voice, I tend to hear their voices. And mm -hmm. Susan is the person I yes. hear when I read Diana to yeah. this day in comic books. And, and I hear that and people will say, yeah. I'm sorry, I know you hear, I don't mean yeah. to tell you, and it's like, you can tell me that every <laughs> moment of every day. <laughs> because to hear that people hear you when they're reading a comic book, or to hear that you've been part of somebody's childhood, which yeah. we also hear all, you know, all of us <clears> from the show, you know, it's, um, how do you have a bad day 
when you know that. Right. That you've been part of something delightful for somebody. Yeah. Can we just right. get you like reading audio comic books that I can <laughs> pop on my headphones when I go to bed and it's your voice and it's Wonder Woman reading me a comic because that's Great. what I need. Don't they have that? I mean, haven't we done that yet? Is that the, the Susan Eisenberg's uh, universe streaming service? We need the yes. app yeah. with Susan giving you We're developing a we need like for headphones. We need yeah. fan Twitter. We need uh, fan fiction. Exactly. We need everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like this group. Yeah. <laughs> this is a you good group. This is a business meeting. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Good. While we discuss all of those very important business plans, now we're going to have some world's finest news. to all of our complex business proposals that, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that Wonder Woman hasn't done yet that you would like to see. One of the things that I love and have such an affection for is the mythology aspect of her. And I don't feel like it's it's been overdone or we've visited it so many times. I feel like there's so much room to further investigate that. And I remember studying mythology in school, so I have a personal affection for it as well. And some of my favorite stuff on Justice League was dealing with Hippolyta, was dealing with the Amazons and the Mascara, learning how to pronounce the Mascara. <laughs> <laughs> and Hippolyta, that fact. Yeah. And spelling it. Have you spelled those words? <laughs> Not easy. Just try uh, to avoid it. Yeah. <laughs> that Most people. Yeah. Most people. You have editors. Someone can help. Yeah, exactly. Me. Yeah, no, we're, at, we're just actors. We're on our own. <laughs> and that would be the, the stories. If I could choose any right now that I'd want to visit, I love the sisterhood. So I think. I think that was that would be like where I would start it in Themyscira, and then I would um, bring her over to Gotham and have her meet up with you know the the other people, um, you know the Hawk Girls, the Superman, yes, yes. the Bat Guy, and um, <laughs> and explore those relationships, <laughs> especially with the Bat Guy. Yeah. Hector, is there anything else you want to say for I, you? Yeah. She's teasing me. It's so funny because I know I speak for a lot of fans. Like I, I love Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. They're some of my favorite shows of all time. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, uh, I speak for a lot of the fans. There's a big fan base out there that really like the Diana Bruce relationship. Yes. Yes. I also love yes. the show yes. Batman yes. Beyond, yes. where we see what happens in the far future. So I'd love to see what happens to Diana in the future. Mm -hmm. And I would also really like to see some animated version of Bruce and Diana trying to make a go at it, maybe actually admitting to each other that they might have feelings, and maybe, and then I'd like, I'd like to see why it doesn't work out, because what? we know Bruce ends up alone. What? No, 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 I just, you know, I, I really like their dynamic together. But you know what, and, yeah. the, and the truth is that I say to people all the time, because I'm a huge fan of Wonder Bat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and so I love it, but I, what I love about it is just the flirtation, that yes. it's kept, like, innocent, and it's not, mm -hmm. you know, these two, I mean, people send me some stuff, and I'm like, Hey, that's a little intense. <laughs> you know, like, yes. let's take it down a notch. Very romantic. Yeah, it's yeah. very yes. romantic. Yeah. It's very innocent, and that's how mm -hmm. it was played in the series. Mm -hmm. It was just like a little bit of a wink yeah. to each other. Mm -hmm. I had his number, he had my number, he thought. And I loved that. <laughs> I loved that. And it was delightful. Yeah, it was great. See, I'm glad that you guys are saying that, because now that that's been covered, Diana is canonically bisexual, mm -hmm. and so yeah. I want to oh, see okay. <laughs> maybe go. Batwoman explore. Ooh. Or yeah. uh, maybe uh, any other. I would like to see a fleshed out uh, bisexual romantic story. That'd be that very would cool. be good. That would be good. And I somebody asked me recently, would you want back or, you know, would you want a triangle like where the two women are fighting over Batman? And I'm like, absolutely not. No. Like no. absolutely not. But that no. That has potential. We need three bisexual characters fighting <laughs> okay, yes. about each other. Whitney's putting it back in. Yeah. He's going right back to the triangle. Okay. For the business proposal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I like a lot of Diana stories that, that focus on the fact that she's a fish out of water. Yeah. You know? Yes. Uh, and that she's uh, an, an ambassador and, and mm -hmm. somebody who uh, who makes peace in the world. Mm -hmm. I'd, lo I'd love to see more of a cosmic story with her mm -hmm. that expands all those themes on a cosmic level. She's not just from an island. She's Now she's from a planet. 
planet. She's not just representing her people, but she's representing all of Earth. That's so I'd lovely. love to see like yeah. a cosmic level. And also she's got the sword and the big That's spaceships. Yeah. And yeah, well, everything. she's got the sword now. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. yeah. Obviously, I, I do, like, I will watch all the cartoons with Wonder Woman forever, but we are lucky enough that we just got a new one. Yeah. Can we talk a little bit about Justice League versus the Fatal Five? Yeah. Can we? Yes, Can we, can we talk about it? And can we talk about what she looks like in this movie, in the mm. Trinity, mm. and seeing them, and seeing Jessica Cruz, yes. mm. Starboy, mm. and and how that they're tackling mental illness in this film? I mean, this film blew me away, and yeah. I know I'm in it, and blah blah blah. But <laughs> you are really good, though. Just yeah, yes. thank you. Yeah. And you know, I didn't know that she was going to look like she had in the Justice League, and you know, the, no, right. the Justice League series. Yeah. Yeah. And so when Bruce showed me the picture when I went to do. ADR, mm -hmm. I I got emotional. Yeah, I, mean, I, I haven't seen her since 2006. Wow. I mean, I've seen her, but I haven't <laughs> seen her to, around, to voice yeah. her. And, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was a very emo and and the, being in the screening with Bruce and George, and I mean, we were all there together watching oh, the film together. So yeah. and now it's streaming, so everyone can be watching it. Amazing. It's um, it's. It's a good one. It, we watched it for the show and loved it. Had a lot of great discussions yes. about yeah. it. Yes. Uh, I, I really loved the scenes between uh, Wonder Woman and Jessica Cruz. I loved it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I wrote Jessica for a long, long time. Uh -huh. And I was like, damn, why didn't I think of that? That's kind of envious yeah. of, yeah. that, uh, of, of jealousy. If, uh, Eric, Eric is amazing. Eric, Eric Roscoe, I mean, yes. he, you know, and and just being able to play those scenes together and have that mentor relationship and, and be that older, um, wiser uh, mm -hmm. superhero in this movie. Um, it was a treat. I mean, I, yeah. it was a treat, it was a surprise, and I never expected the Trinity, like I said, to be that. Mm. And when Bruce showed, you know, it's, that was unexpected and just a gift from the gods. And when you say Bruce, <laughs> you mean Bruce Wayne, right? Yes. 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 Wayne, yes, yes. Wow. Well, he invests in everything these days. <laughs> That's, that's what's yeah. so great about talking to the lovely talent from these amazing projects is that they'll just casually name drop Bruce Tim. Like, yeah. oh, bro, yeah. you know, no big deal, just Bruce Tim. Sorry, Bruce you drop a name. Here we go, there. Bruce Tim, that's amazing. That's I great. know, yeah. I know. And like Andrea, you know, everyone yeah. knows Andrea Romano. So, God. I mean, yeah. right? Sure, sure. I'm sorry, there's another one over here. Yeah, right? no, I know. <laughs> Sam, Sam Liu. Oh, yeah. Sam, Sam, oh. yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. I'm over yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much my for pleasure. coming. Yes, Yay. thank you for being thank here. Thank you. Oh and and you're, you're all my agents, right? Yeah, yes. establish that. Forward. We're in yep. it together now. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, this has been an absolute delight. If you have missed any of all that wonderful work, as we said, it's all on DC Universe. Uh, and in the meantime, in the rest of DC, Leviathan continues to rise as we build towards Year of the Villain. Now it's time to look at some comics of the week.